Hi guys, so today I wanted to do a quick review on a brush set that I received a few weeks ago. Um, now this brush set right here comes in this little case. Um, it's a crown brush set. I'm going to leave the information to the website down below. Now it is an Australian uh, website, so overseas people. I'm, I'm not sure if they ship overseas, they probably would, but anyways, it's Australian that I know of. So, um, I received this a few weeks ago and I've used the brushes a few times now. I've always done them on other people, um, used them on other people, sorry. I haven't actually used them for my own uh, makeup as yet, but from what I have used, I'm really, really happy with these brushes. So, um, when you open them up, they're like this and then you can just lift the little flap up and there's the brushes that you receive now go through each one of them um, and this particular set just let me check the name of this one um, it's the it's a 12 piece exclusive pink brush away cancer set um, the price is $39.95 um, that's including the 10% GST and then you pay for your postage on top and it for me it come to about $50 so um, yeah I was happy with that okay so the first brush here well let's look at the brushes to begin with this is the powder brush um, as you can see it has the crown brush logo there powder and I love the finish on these it's like a um, I don't know what you would call that. Unfortunately, one of them did crack though. I'll show you on this one. See how it cracked? I think I might have actually dropped it though and I think that's why it had cracked. But the brushes themselves are, are very good quality. So here's the powder brush. Um, and this one really does sort of look like goat hair to me. It doesn't have that synthetic feel or the, the shininess that a synthetic brush has. Um, I love the the pink coloring as well and excuse my nails if they look a little dirty they're not dirty it's actually toner because <laughs> I toned my hair um, but anyway back to the brushes so this is your powder brush really really soft I have not once lost any hairs out of these brushes either by using them like applicating or cleaning them haven't lost one hair so so impressed so you got the powder brush really really like that one okay the next brush is the blush brush and the good thing about these brushes too is they have all the names on them so if you're not particularly familiar with brushes or using brushes you are just sort of coming into it these are a great one to try because they do you know say what they're for so we have an angled blush brush now all of the brushes have that beautiful pink to them and my camera is just not focusing there we go so you can see there such good quality so soft now I've used these um, probably three or four times I reckon this one I think is a synthetic it has the um, shiny sort of look to it you can't really see it on the camera but if you're looking at it it does look a bit shiny but again, I haven't lost any hairs out of this one either, or any of them. So, the next one is the foundation brush. There we go. So, there's that one. And that one's really soft too. Very firm. Um, the only thing I found with this particular brush is it did stain a bit after I had used a um, I had used the Maybelline Fit Me foundation and that stained it. But I'm gonna um, I'm gonna rewash this one again just to see if I can get that out because they shouldn't really discolor. Okay, the next brush I've got is the concealer brush. So that's a nice little concealer one there. My camera seems to be having a tough time today. 
So there's a concealer. You also get a shadow brush. Then we have a... Um, hang on a minute. Okay, there's two concealer brushes. I'm like, I didn't realise that was a concealer one as well. But yeah, it's another concealer brush. So this one is like a rounded... Um, and I wish my camera would just focus. There we go. See, it's around quite firm as well, which is good. Then we have the pointed liner. There's the pointed liner. Then we've got the smudge brush. You also get an angled liner. Okay. And the lip brush. So I've just cleaned these, if I just go like, it does smooth them out a little bit more. Okay, then we've got the, the brow comb. And that's quite, uh, what's the word, rough. <laughs> and then we've also got the um, lash brush. Although, um, I might just use this one for brows, I think. I would use disposable, or I might even save it for myself. I don't know, um, because that's a good brush for my lower lashes, I think. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily use this one on clients because I would use disposable. Okay, so that's pretty much it, guys. So that's the brush set there. comes in this cute little pink pouch. I absolutely love these brushes and I'm definitely going to be buying some more crown brushes for my own personal use. I have um, other brushes there but I'm going to get some more crown brushes because I really really did enjoy these ones and this one and this particular pack um, like I had said what was it called again it's um, brush away cancer set so um, I'm pretty sure they donate a certain amount of money to go towards um, cancer research so that's the idea I'm getting <laughs> so that's pretty much it guys I just wanted to share those with you um, I'm gonna be doing some more makeup um, tutorials coming up and sort of including into my course because that's the reason why I really got the these brushes because I didn't want to um, use my own personal brushes on other people and I'm also going to be going and um, starting a whole new kit with a particular range of makeup that I'm going to be using on my clients. So that'll come later on once I get involved with the company a little bit more and things of that nature. So that's my review on crown brushes. Give them a go. If you have crown brushes, um, a particular, particular set, let me know, comment and um, yeah, give them a go guys. Very, very affordable Australian and yeah, great brushes. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.